Welcome, welcome, Jimmy Demora Square. Welcome, Jimmy Demora Square. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Demora Square. A product, a product of Cleveland's corrupt system. Welcome, Jimmy Demora Square. Welcome. Good morning from Cleveland, Ohio, downtown. We have a beautiful morning, July the 12th, Tuesday morning. We expect the temperature to hit in the 90s today. My name is Satinder Paul Singh Puri. I am a community activist here to talk about the new public square which I have called Jimmy Demora Public Square. Well, why have I named it Jimmy Demora Public Square? Mr. Demora was one of our county commissioners, Cuyahoga County Commissioners, who was charged with corruption and sent away for 28 years in federal prison. This project the new public square is mired in corruption. I'll talk about it. So what better way, what better name for the new public square mired in corruption than Jimmy Demora Public Square. So welcome Jimmy Demora Public Square. Now Jimmy Demora Public Square, we are told, has cost $50 million, $50 million. Out of the $50 million, less than half came from foundations like Key Bank Foundation, Cleveland Foundation, Gun Foundation and others. And more than half came from public sources or other private utility companies that paid to get the work done. All right. Now, we had an old public square. It was 218 years old. Behind me is the statue of Moses Cleveland. He was the founder of Cleveland, founded the city in 1796, and divided this square in here into four quadrants. So we had four quadrants, and for all the 218 years, except for 10 years, we had four quadrants. For those 10 years, it was blocked off, but then it opened up into four quadrants. The old public square was bustling with people, bustling with energy, it had trees, it had flowers, it had shrubs, it had a fountain, it had a waterfall, and a splash pool. There was nothing wrong with it that a little maintenance could not fix. But City Hall and their cronies from the rich and powerful establishment decided, no, we're going to tear it down. Why? Because it is not good for the real estate interests. So they tore it down. It went through a senseless destruction starting in March of 2015, which is last year. Well, they have come up with this new public square. I call Jimmy DeMora Public Square. We'll go all around and we'll talk about it, all the features it has. Now, what about the corruption, though? Well, there was, first of all, the design process was totally corrupt. Mayor Jackson, who wanted a unified square, a big square, selected an option from the many options that were available that we all knew was going to be very expensive for the city. RTA, we had, used to have Ontario Street going north-south. This was Ontario Street. Superior Avenue going east-west, so they blocked Ontario Street out here, South Roadway, and out there, what, what is like, really like the North Roadway. So they blocked Ontario Street, traffic cannot go through. They narrowed Superior Avenue. As a result, RTA traffic has to mostly go all around. During construction, both were closed, so the traffic had to all go around the perimeter roads, and it cost the RTA for the 16-month period three and a half million dollars. Well, now, 
Even though the, uh, the square has been open for over two weeks, RTA still has not been permitted to go down Superior Avenue. There are going to be four lanes for RTA traffic. No cars, only RTA buses. And this operation narrowing down will still cost the RTA $1 million a year. Well, RTA has no money. They're already cash trapped. They are running into financial problems. They're cutting down services and raising their fares. So RTA now is subsidizing this project whose main purpose is to do what? Is to jack up the real estate values of all the people who live in downtown, in these buildings, hotels, terminal tower, and so on. Well, I needed some information from Mayor Jackson's office. I sent Mayor Jackson 10 emails, two certified letters, followed with a 10-day hunger strike to protest the corruption. And guess what? No, not a single response from our mayor. Mayor Jackson, you need prompting a kick from Washington before he starts talking. So zero response from Mayor Jackson. Well, we have the old stone church out there. There's the old stone church. There's a reverend out there. Now, reverends, as far as I'm concerned, I'm an atheist. I still believe reverends are God's representatives on planet Earth. So I approached this reverend. He lives, he's the reverend of Old Stone Church, historic church. When President Lincoln was assassinated, President Lincoln's body passed through public square and got a service at the Old Stone Church. Well, I sent two emails to the reverend seeking his intervention to get information. No response. No response from the reverend, God's representative on planet Earth. I sent a certified letter. Zero response. Well, what's the reverend got to do with this? Well, our reverend lives in this building out here, the park building. His and his flock are going to benefit from a rise in real estate values. And that is exactly what is the purpose of this public square. It looks nice. Everything new looks nice. There was nothing wrong with the old public square that a little maintenance could not fix. So this new public square, the main objective is to jack up the real estate values of all the people who live in the perimeter and in the vicinity, and so that they benefit from the new public square, which is being subsidized by our RTA, cash-strapped RTA, which is cutting down services and raising fares. Cost the RTA three and a half million dollars estimated during construction and one million dollars every every year thereafter. So this project, we are told, is going to bring in thousands of people. Every time I count, come here, I count just a few hundred. And we were told that this project is going to be a big gardener for democracy in Cleveland. Well, we used to have Mr. Johnson's statue out there previously in the old public square. That's where all the activities took place. Now they have transferred it out here under, under Moses Cleveland statue, and this is where I'm talking from. It's called the Donley's Speaker Terrace. Now Cleveland had a big event celebrating the championship that our Cavs brought home, the 2016 NBA championship, and guess what? Public Square was closed. We didn't even need Public Square. So the whole celebration. So when we had the Cavs celebration on June 22nd, over a million people showed up and Public Square was closed and the rest of Cleveland enjoyed the celebration and we didn't even need Public Square for a big action in democracy. So this uh, project, to summarize, is not good for you, not good for me, not good for any of the Clevelanders. This is only for people downtown who are going to benefit from a rise in property values. And the rest of us, we are all going to get screwed. The more money they spend downtown, billions spend downtown, and guess what? What happens to the poverty rate? The poverty rate keeps on going up. During the 10 years, from 2001 to 2010, they spent billions downtown, still continue to invest billions 
and the poverty rate went from 31% to 38%. So what we'll do is, we'll go around and I'll show you all the features that we have. The public square has been built with cheap materials. You can see the concrete in here. Previously we had granite, now we have concrete. It's a cheap material and no substitute for, for the elegant granite that we had. So it's a park built with cheap materials and we'll talk about it, that the old public square had just about everything that this new park boasts about. All right, so we'll go, go all around and talk about the square. And again, welcome Jimmy Demora Public Square. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Demora Square. Jimmy, 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 a project, a project mired in corruption. Jimmy, Jimmy Demora Square, a project that is only for the rich and the powerful to jack up their real estate values and not for the rest of Clevelanders. Jimmy, Jimmy Demora Square, a project mired in corruption. So we'll go all around now and look at the new public square, also known as Jimmy Demora Public Square. 